Welcome to Stripped Simple. I'm your host, Olivia. Let's talk about self-care and simple beauty. What you put on your skin is really important. I'm going to give you some ingredients, and what you do with them is up to you to decide. Mix and match as you desire. You are your own alchemist. Simple care, simple ingredients, simple beauty. Strip Simple Frankincense. Frankincense is one of my favorite, favorite plants, favorite oils, because I'm more in the context of aromatherapy here as a kind of self-care in addition to what you can do for yourself. And frankincense is absolutely one of my favorite oils to use. It has a very deep woodsy scent, and it does come from a very small woody tree and it has waxy white flowers with yellow and orange centers and I feel like there are some plants where it's almost like you can smell the earth they were grown in. Frankincense is one of those ones that is just has a depth of flavor that is almost minty, it's woodsy, it's sweet, it has like a sweet after after kind of scent but in the, the middle it's kind of burnt or very woodsy like what you would smell in the depths of the earth it's very it's a very nice oil uh it is from africa somalia ethiopia india the middle east i use one that's um called Boswellia katari i don't know if that's how you say it but that's how i've pronounced it so please feel free to sub in whatever pronunciation is correct for you and I like it better than the Indian one because you'll find that when you're looking at different essential oils, they come from different areas, so they all have different smells. Even batch to batch, you'll get different smells in between essential oils because the sun conditions or if that land is experiencing drought or how stressed the plant is or if other plants are growing there how recently the land has been rejuvenated, has it been fertilized. There are so many factors that go into the final yield that a plant produces and the scent that it also produces because there are plants that also, if they're in drought, they smell even better because they're stressed. So sometimes if you want your plants to smell better, you can put rosemary or mint or something outside and if you're not watering it regularly and you're just letting nature do its thing, you'll have a stronger smelling plant because it produces more oils when it's stressed. So I find that I like the African version a little bit more than the Indian version, but it's something that you experiment with. You know, experience it in all of its forms. Smell all of them that you can smell. Experience all of them that you can experience. Touch them, feel them, see how you feel about them. And do it with all oils, do it with everything that you encounter when you are making your own stuff because it is yours to make, so you are the creator of that adventure. What can you use frankincense for? Frankincense is extremely good for breathing, so if you have any respiratory conditions like asthma, and I do, or if you have a cold, or if your airways are blocked, you're congested, frankincense has got your back it's also really great for skin infections for headaches for scars frankincense when it comes to scars is amazing it works wonders i have made things specifically for scars that have frankincense and serums for my face that have frankincense and i have noticed a difference Other emotional uses that you could use frankincense for is that it is very good for helping you clear your mind. It's good for understanding yourself, for focusing and grounding yourself, and is very, very good for meditation. I have a meditation bomb that I make with frankincense because not everybody meditates the same way. I am not fond of breathing meditations, so I find that I lean more toward 
sound meditations where I can follow a guided meditation or even grounding myself in one of my senses because when I think about breathing, I think about what my breath is not doing or what it should be doing instead. And for me, that is not a relaxing meditation experience. So I think customize, do what suits you. Sometimes you have monkey brain, sometimes just laying down there will make you fall asleep. So you, you go with what works for you. So for me, I found that putting it in a meditation bomb that I just rub on my wrist or under my nose is a really nice meditation experience. Something that you can feel free to try yourself. And as it is also very good for grounding yourself and focusing, a thing that you can do kind of like what Pavlov did with his dogs is you can diffuse it into the air around you when you are studying and do it just when you're studying or when you need to focus and then when you need to calm that again the scent will help refamiliarize you or get that focus toward that specific thing so he rang the bell pavlov rang the bell then he would feed the dog dinner and eventually it reached the point where if he rang the bell the dog would salivate so you can kind of train yourself to focus more by using oils like this like rosemary oils that will just help you focus so what can you make with it? I was covering some of those things a little bit earlier, but it is very versatile. So you can make things like skin serums, scar creams, chest rubs, you can do your own sort of VIX where you know what all of the ingredients are. And you can do meditation bombs. You can even make your own incense because frankincense is a great incense. And when was frankincense discovered or were, when are the early instances of it being used? Frankincense appears as early as 1500 BC on Egyptian papyrus as being prescribed as a remedy for throat infections and asthma attacks. I found that really fascinating because I wouldn't have thought that it was classified as asthma attacks, you know, thousands of years ago or and it is really always amazing how remedies have been passed down through the ages or through generations and have still come back to us now and still be used for the same things. Or, you know, to know that thousands of years ago an ancestor was doing it this way. I think that's very fascinating. It also appears in ancient Chinese herbal manuscripts and shows up several times in the Bible, including as one of the gifts from the wise men when they gifted baby Jesus with frankincense, gold, and myrrh. People back then would burn it as incense, they used it as hair oil, as breath freshener, and as a kind of glue, because resin is very sticky, even though solid, to mend broken pots and jars. So I thought that was really fascinating. Frankincense is also one of the ingredients used in ancient Egypt as eyeliner. Burning it and using the powder was part of what made coal when they used it to darken their eyes. And the resin for frankincense is also edible. So you could scrape it off of trees, it would leak out of the trees as sap, it gets harvested and scraped off once it dried, and you can use that as an incense or, or maybe you can try making your own eyeliner. So thank you for tuning in. Tune in next time for more Strip Simple Ingredients. And remember, you are your own alchemist.